let me go and show you how to graph y equals log base two of x minus one. Now, the thing that usually gets students confused with logarithms is actually not just what the graph is, but it's even understanding what a logarithmic graph looks like. So if we just take a parent graph of y is equal to log of x, it doesn't really matter what the base is. All these logarithmic functions are going to have an x-intercept at one comma zero and a vertical asymptote at x equals zero. So the graph is going to look something like this. All right, the domain is going to be all positive numbers from zero to infinity, and the range is going to be all real numbers. Now let's go and take a look at, well, what are we going to do when it's x minus one? Well, if you remember, any times we have a shift of a function inside the function, if you remember like y equals x minus one, on quadratics, right, that was going to be a horizontal shift left or right. Now, a lot of students see the negative and they think they want to move to the left. But what I want to do is think about this as this format that we use is x minus c. But if you think about c as in parentheses, we want to know is c positive or negative? In this format, you can see that c, or my one in this case, is positive. So what I'm simply going to do is shift this graph one unit to the right. So I'm going to move my x-intercept one more unit over, so that's going to be a two comma zero. And I'm gonna use my vertical asymptote one unit to the right, which will now be at x equals one. Now I can graph my horizontal transformation. 